All right, welcome to the next episode. And on this episode, we're tackling another engine leak down test on the R18 Civic motor. All right, the reason I'm doing another leak down test is because since the first leak down test, which was pretty much on a bone dry motor, and this motor sat for a long time, as far as I know, the leak down percentages were okay. They were under 20%, but I knew they could be better. So this time around, after we've soaked the cylinders with oil, transmission fluid, and Marvel Mystery Oil for about a week or so, and we cranked the motor continuously over every couple of days just to lubricate those cylinders, wear those pistons in, give it some life and lubricity, as well as soak some of the, the valves. You know, we, we overfilled the cylinders actually, so some of that oil got on the valves as well, both the intake and exhaust. And after confirming with a boroscope that all the oil fell down through the piston rings into the cylinders, I wanted to create another test. All right, big shout out to today's video sponsor. We got a floodlight right over here. It's a 5000K 100 watt LED floodlight and it 
gives you great output and visibility for all kinds of places in your yard in the garage you can use it or wherever lighting is necessary so i can quite frankly try to install it in this floodlight i have over here but i think this is a little heavy it's got some weight to it this is some heavy duty stuff i don't think the cheap structure uh, and integrity of that will hold but i'm gonna install it real quick show you guys how quick and easy it is and then i'm going to tell you guys my honest opinion of it and pros and cons of this light and where you can find it in case you guys are interested in purchasing one for your own purpose all right pretty simple install you got your black white and green the black is your positive your live wire your white in this case will be your ground and you have a green wire and this one can also be mounted uh, I believe in the ground in the neutral not too sure I'm not an electrician but we are pretty much going to be using a old extension cable we cut off the ends here and we're going to use it to hardwire it onto the light so just to give you an example I'm going to plug this in and let's test these out wow that is bright and the good thing is it doesn't give off too much heat let's give let's give the face test let's see how close we can get to heaven yeah you could definitely send some uh some heat coming off of it but i was touching it earlier and it, it wasn't warm enough to the point where it's going to be burning you and on top of that yeah i can touch it no problem it looks like a nice it might be glass i'm not even sure but definitely not hot at all and it's got great ventilation from the back end huge fins that will help cool off the led lights so overall very simple design you got an adjustable head here and again this is meant to be outdoors so um i don't know conduit uh maybe some special attachments if you're running it outside on your barn on the side of the house or the garage i'm gonna install these tape them off make them sure make sure they're nice and secure and we're going to use it and demonstrate it in some case scenarios. This light right here is really bright for all your outdoor needs, but we might even use it indoor because it has great light output. So I have it mounted on my vise right now pointing at the engine and it's definitely a big light and you want some distance from your object. So I'm gonna take this light right now, hang it over my head, pointing either at the garage or the engine, and you will see just how bright this whole garage gets. Like the entire garage right now is super bright. This is with the light off. This is with the light on. Back light facing me, light facing the garage. Super bright, man. And the, again, the best thing is, depending on where I mount it, like, look how bright everything looks. Like, I could be working on this engine. I can be really working on this engine with all the lighting necessary. So that's pretty dope. Again, anywhere you point it, it works. As you can see. Super bright. Yeah. All right, big shout out again. I do like this thing. It is pretty heavy duty. Um, if you guys are interested in it, go check out the links below. If I had to give one suggestion, um, the only thing I would suggest is already having a wire connected to it instead of the traditional three, three wire method. I think this is meant to be hardwired in places like the garage, you know, your, your, the houses on top of the house where you get a good area of coverage. So that's why I, I don't think it came with something, a portable wire mount as I have done over here. But nonetheless, the LED light is an LED light and it performs great with a lot of output. I'm probably gonna make a little tripod for this with an adjustable head so I can move the tripod around pretty much any way I want up and down side to side for filming purposes inside the garage and I'm sure you guys can make 
these work for whatever purpose and whatever project that you have going on. So thanks again for sending these out. This test was pretty successful. We tested all four cylinders once again and the results are pretty good and much better improvement over the first test. All right, for the second leak down test, cylinder number one, we got a 7% leak down, an 8% leak down, and a 9% leak down. So pretty consistent and well under 10%. Cylinder number two also had a great results. 4% leak down, 5%, and another 5% leak down. Cylinder number three, we had 7% leak down, 5% leak down and 7% leak down. And the last cylinder number four, we had 6% leak down, 6% leak down and 5% leak down. So the averages look pretty good, pretty consistent and definitely better than the test we did previously. So all these are signs that the engine internals are pretty good. I will overlay some video footage from my phone of the intake valves leaking a little bit from every cylinder for the most part, but hey, you know, it's it's an old engine that's been sitting for some time and I'm sure there's a lot of, you know, d dirt still on the valves and contamination or whatnot, but even though they're leaking a little bit, the results are pretty good. And I, I don't even know, maybe new ones leak just a hair too. So, you know, all around pretty good results and I'm pleased with it and, uh, that's pretty much a wrap for this video just a short one i did want to update you guys on that test just to kind of solidify that uh, the motor seems to be in pretty good working order i did look over the valve train again I, I did look at all the cam lobes as i'm turning the engine over and i can't really see anything wrong with them they look pretty smooth pretty good the rollers look good the camshaft looks good so i think so far we are off to a great start. And that's pretty much a wrap for this video. So like always, thank you guys for watching. If you wanna subscribe to the channel to check the journey out, feel free to do so. And if you wanna contribute to this big project that we got on our hands, you can feel free to check out the description below. Maybe pick up some merch. We'll see you guys on the next video. I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true.